Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Everybody, I am like really trying to take a day off today, um, and uh, I can't because the energy that is being kicked up by this um, Lion's Gate is getting so intense. I keep getting these downloads, and um, I keep like you know doing like the the pre-shuffles it's just it's crazy your person is going crazy okay anyway collective this reading is for the it's it's not going to resonate with all of you it is for the collective so just take what does resonate toss out the rest right don't try to force anything into your world and thank you so much everyone for your likes subscribes comments shares donations everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing thank you so much for all of your support i really mean that um you guys are great thank you so much but happy sunday you guys it's a it's a nice rainy day here in wisconsin and i really just wanted to kind of chill today you know and uh yeah i can't this energy is it's starting to get nutty okay it's starting to get like we're starting to see a lot of activity i feel yeah overall energy for for the lion's gate portal is this okay this is uh somebody heartbroken ho be, 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 heartbroken and thinking about you um non-stop okay uh someone from your past they could have put you in a third party situation um they they could have like hid some things from you you know when this person when when you guys were together or you had you know they had their chance with you before i feel like they were hiding some things from you i feel like you were honest with with this person you would have never hurt them with with mittens on you were telling them the truth about everything and honest with them with your um hoodie down and you looked up to this person you saw the best in them okay these are the things that they're thinking about during lion's gate it's 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 like causing a storm in them okay um they could be doing a lot of crying i i feel like this person could have hid that um there was a third party situation here and you trusted them you were innocent in this and they're looking back on that um thinking about you and how wonderful you really were and they they're just they're heartbroken this this is somebody who is doing a lot of crying um yeah because now you're you're not talking to them anymore you've blocked this person out you've detached from this person okay i feel like they kept you sitting here i feel like they ghosted you i really do because you were hoping for the best and you had nothing but the best wishes for this person. Um, and with this third party situation here, I feel like this person ghosted you or chose someone else and left you sitting here with no answers, no clarity, no communication, no nothing. As a matter of fact, I don't see that anybody showed up to help you out with that. Okay, I don't feel like anybody did. I feel like you were in it alone. And all you had was your intuition. Yeah, look, the hair is raising on my arms, guys. So, yeah, I feel like this person is thinking back not just on what they're, like, missing you, heartbroken and missing you, but also thinking about what they, how they treated you, how they hurt you, how they damaged this connection. Yeah, you're moving forward. You could be a Cancer, a Gemini. Or your person could be take it however it resonates with you but um, yeah you you're having a victory because I feel like you're using your intuition and you're getting yourself in this chariot and you're like you know what I've been through it I've healed myself I, I've, I've been a warrior through this alone and I'm I'm leaving the scene you're moving on yeah I feel like so this person is knowing um, that they're feeling it yeah they're feeling it they're out in the cold they're under judgment I feel like they're there's they're getting their karma here I really do and I feel like uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio and they're realizing that they followed the wrong person straight out into an impoverished bad health 
um, and out in the cold energy. Everything is, this is, everything's becoming very, very real for your person right now. They had a decision. They could have chosen a new path. I feel like they knew what they wanted, but they never took any action. They just kept their back turned towards you. Like I said, nobody came to even talk to you or give you any kind of clarity. And I feel like now this person is uh, looking back on things in a lot of regret. What that decision cost them. The fact that they made you wait here with their back turned until all of the emotion was gone. That could be what they're thinking about. Do you even feel the same way? Do you even feel the same way about them? Because see, I feel like they can see you out here happy already having been healed from all of this pain yeah this is somebody doing a lot of thinking about this having a lot of realizations learning a lot of lessons and all, like i said this energy is coming in fast this could be them communicating with you or trying to online maybe a lot of text messages perhaps for some of you, this person's going to start messaging you, and it's going to come in in, like, a lot of messages, right? But I feel like they're having a full-on realization of, you know, this is them learning their lessons, suffering their karma. Some of these people could have lost a job, a home, all of their money, their health. Something's coming to light here. For these masculines, they're seeing it as you get away. Yep, and I feel like you're out here just really focused on you. Yeah, focused on you, learning your lessons, putting in all of that effort into yourself. You could be just um, working, right? See, they're losing all of their pentacles here. They're down to five. That's a lot of financial struggles. You've got nine pentacles here, building something of your own. And, you know, you're independent. I feel like they're with someone codependent. They chose someone codependent. You're um, a boss, business owner, entrepreneur. I feel like this person was led by somebody who financially ruined them. All you did was grow, and all they did was suffer karma, and they're realizing this now, and they're missing you, and you're the one getting away. Yeah, you could be a, a twin flame here. This person can't stop watching you. They can't stop watching you succeed. Yeah, and you're out here being sexy. Yeah, they, I feel like they want to give back to you now, but here's the thing. This person wants to come forward, but they've been giving to somebody else. I feel like they maybe thought that you didn't have enough at the time when they met you. Maybe they, they thought that you were naive. I feel like they were already in a karmic situation when they met you and hid it and like covered it up. And now they can't stop focusing on you. You're a huge temptation for this person. And I feel like this, th their choices and this karmic stood in between you guys, okay? I feel like they, they knew you were sitting here empty-handed, waiting for them to even t just tell you the truth about the situation, give you some clarity, something, anything. But like I said they they stood here knowing you were waiting and didn't give you anything nobody came to your aid and now i feel like you're out here being sexy wealthy independent intuitive and stable and grounded and happy all on your own um and now this person wants to come back in yeah, they see you completely differently now. I really do feel like this person underestimated you. They didn't think that you had enough to bring to the table at the time. But now they're seeing things differently now because they can clearly see that you're in the Empress and the Minor Arcana energy. And you've never looked better. You're driven. You're powerful. 
you've been a warrior through this. This person didn't see your value, but they do now. They made a big mistake that they had to learn from. And I feel like this person, they can't get their eyes off. So they can't get their eyes off you. Sorry, my camera. Anyway, yeah, they're seeing you now. Um, they're having a realization here. It's very clear. They're, they're totally seeing, um, you know, they're being shown. Okay? That they should have chosen you. That this is their twin flame. Divine feminine. Um, and, and what their choice is to, you know, follow this other person, this karmic out in the cold, that they can see it all now. Yeah, it was toxic. Whatever they chose over you was toxic. And they are now in a very toxic devil energy kind of situation. And they can see this now. They can see it. I feel like there's something that they're very ashamed about this choice. And they may even be keeping it keeping it to themselves right how they're seeing everything clearly now i don't feel like they're saying anything about it right now yeah but their player ways cost them not only this connection right because that's coming to an end but it cost them their wish fulfillment feel because they were holding on to um a toxic situation now they want this new beginning. The new beginning is going to the high priestess. And now this person wants to follow you. You're the one with all the abundance. You're the one with the drive, the confidence, um, the, the independence, right? The, the business, the high vibes. You're the one who's intuitive. You're their twin flame, I feel. And now you're their choice. This person is coming back around to choose you. And I feel like you're being gifted here with a brand new beginning, a high priestess energy. I feel like, yeah, extremely tapped in. Now this person wants to snap back around and choose you. That they, I feel like, but them being a player may have just ruined their chances with you. Okay? They could have even found out that... Um, there's been some cheating done in this toxic situation that could be bringing whatever this is it's bringing down their tower the the way that they made impulsive decisions in the past it could be bringing down their tower uh, everything yeah now they want to work on things with you they want to work on things with you will you give them a chance right will you give them a chance because this person is very clear now on what they want. Um, I feel like they're, good, they're about to come towards you here. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, they're choosing a path. They want their, their Ten of Cups. They could have found out, um, I'm just getting the feeling like the karmic cheated on them. There was some kind of player activity done in that situation. Yeah, uh, somebody had other options here. Yes, and this person is cutting them out. That's why it's coming to an end. I feel like the, the karmic has found somebody else or they were, they found out that they had been cheated on. But yeah, this, this masculine is going to end that situation with the karmic. And they're coming towards you, collective. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like they don't want to let you go. This person has a... a they have an issue with holding on to things. Okay? They, they wanted to hold on tight to the karmic situation. Right? It's even when they had a chance. They had a chance here at a new beginning with you but they still chose the karmic. And then now that's like they, they want to hang on to you, right? They're coming back around. This person's losing their mind, man. They want their star. I'm telling you. They want their star. You're out here in the public eye. You could be a tarot card reader, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. Um, you're whatever it is. You're being divinely led here. You have found your, your soul path, your, what you're supposed to be doing. 
And I feel like you're out here in this beautiful energy, not speaking to this person, focusing on you, building your stability, whatever it is you're doing out here in the public eye, it's it could be making you a small fortune. And this person knows that they missed out on you. They want to come towards you here. They want to work on this. They're making a decision. I feel like they're choosing you. Their star. Yeah. They're choosing their star. Um, whatever it is you're doing, right? You're helping to guide other people. I feel like you've, you've been a guide for this person even coming out of the situation. You may have even put it out there, warned them what they were going to find out. It's all happening. It's all happening. I feel like everything that you've said, it's all happening to this person. Wow. Everything that you have said intuitively. And they're falling apart. You've been right. You've been spot on with your intuition. And all you've had to use is your intuition. I feel like this person, you know, and there could be a karmic here that uh, is trapped in their mind as well. I feel like this is your person's energy. Uh, there's, they could have kept you stuck or tried to keep you stuck. Uh, like I said, that's this. You sat here for a while, not any, nobody came to help you. Nobody came to give you the truth. Nobody came to even so much as talk to you. Okay? They just dropped you and they haven't talked to you since. And I feel like they're in a lot of regret for that. Everything that you said intuitively is happening to this person. I'm telling you. It's almost like they're afraid of your spirituality. They know that, they know you're, they, if this person approaches you, they're, they know that they're approaching uh, um, a divine being, a, an earth angel here. They know. They can see it now. Everything that you said was going to happen to this person is happening to this person. Every bit of the karma you warned them about, whatever you warned them about, about their toxic situation, it's all coming true. And they're freaked out by it. It's almost like they're intimidated by this energy. They know. I mean, look at you. You've got the star, high priestess. You're divinely led here, divine feminine. You're an earth angel. They can see it. And they feel absolutely stuck, amazed and stuck and kind of upset that you knew this stuff was going to happen the whole time. They're feeling like a fool. They're feeling like they're in bad health. And they're looking at you here like, how, how do I talk to an angel, right? That's what they're saying here. How do you talk to an angel? You've been right the whole time. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, how, how do you hold her close to where you are? They didn't see how strong you were. Honest, they know now that you were honest with them and they're praying that they can have another chance after all of the hell they put you through. After the third party situation, heartache, the betrayal, left you, leaving you sit here, leaving you all alone, um, finding your way out of this mental prison, all of it. Still, you remain peaceful. Now they can see how independent and driven you are. You're out here helping other people, standing in your truth, man. How do they talk to an earth angel? You were right about everything. You stood in your integrity and your truth. You're like, I receive messages and I know that this is the truth and I know that this is going to happen and it is. You were absolutely right. And now they're, they're praying here. They're, yeah, they're praying. I feel like you open this person up to, to, your, to their spirituality. You're walking, talking proof of the divine. Period. Hands down. You. Yes, you. You are walking, talk. You are a walking, talking, breathing testament of the divine. Because you are proving now that 
those messages were spot on correct. Yeah, they're freaking out by that. They're a little bit taken back, you know, like, how do you talk to an angel, right? But yeah, they, they see you as um, being the one that they want. They're going through it, you guys. This energy around Lionsgate, I'm telling you, and there it is. There it is. Lionsgate portal. Wheel of Fortune is turning. It's the end of a cycle, a beginning to a new one. And this person, right at the very end, they realize that you were the one for them. Wow. I'm hearing too much, too little, too late. Oh, and as I pick up that, oh, oh, too much, too little, too late. For real, they've put you through too much. Their apology may be too little. It may be too late for them to even come towards you. Holy cow. Thank you, divine. I'm getting the chills, like for real. Yeah. Too much, too little, too late. I don't know how the, all the words to ever try again or something like that. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is closing. It's It may be too late. They're realizing that you're the one for them. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. They could have had a happy, committed life with you. Something that they could have grown into a freaking empire with you. But they realized it too late. There's been too much pain that they've caused in this heartache. And it may be, uh, it may be, uh, you know, their apology may be too little, not enough, and it may be too late for them to talk to you now. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. Thank you, Divine. That was a massive confirmation there. <laughs> Yeah, so they're in a lot of pain here as this Wheel of Fortune turns, as this Lionsgate portal comes in. They did too much damage. Um, their apology will be too little, and it may be too late for them to even talk to you. So that's why they feel so stuck, intimidated by your power. It's, it, it's your energy, yes, but you're very loving and healing and nurturing, but you have actual power in your abilities to see with that third eye because everything that you said was going to happen has happened. All right, give me one more for the collective Lionsgate portal. You are entering into the portal beautifully, okay, collective. Um, on a very abundant new cycle, whatever you've worked for here, being divinely led, this is your stability. I feel like it's only going to be built up from here. I don't feel you losing out on anything. I feel like this person in here, your past person, it may be too late for them. Too much damage, too little of an apology, and too late maybe to come back. Okay? Yeah, and they're in a lot of regret. A lot of regret. This is having clarity. That sword is about clarity, guys. There's so much clarity. Look at all the clarity this person's getting. And it's all painful stuff, and they did it to themselves. Because they chose something else over you that had no love in it at all. They threw away this cup here. That's the blessing that they got when they got you. When they found you, that was a blessing and love that they tossed away. And they turned their back on you. And this person, they, they feel a lot of shame. They're feeling like this is major depression. Okay? Major depression here right now. Ooh, I'm getting the chills all over me. Um, yeah, and I, this is a lot of clarity they're seeing everything clear, but just a little too late. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for the Lionsgate um, energy. I, you can feel it. It's, it's heavy. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what I have. I, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share, right? Um, 
join the soul tribe the fam we're really a family here <laughs> join the family if you like this uh this vibe and it resonates with you right and until next time collective take care of you and peace out